in this we are going to discuss about the characteristics of critical state of flow so what is the characteristics is the condition should be q square t divided by g a cube is equal to 1 that is the critical flow condition in the critical flow condition energy minimum the energy is minimum for a given discharge discharge is maximum for the particular specific energy it it should be this five points is important for a critical flow condition what is the condition is q square t divided by g a cube is equal to 1 and for a particular discharge the energy is minimum for example for 10 meter cube per second you will have only one energy that is e minimum you will have a minimum energy and the discharge is maximum for the given specific energy and for that energy the discharge will be maximum and the specific force is minimum for a given discharge discharge is maximum for a specific force here they have given us energy here it is the same thing in with respect to force and the last one is fruit number is equal to unity fr is equal to 1 that is at a critical condition fr is equal to 1 is critical condition what are the condition is q square t divided by g a cube is equal to 1 and the energy is minimum for a given discharge and for that particular energy discharge will be maximum force will be minimum for the particular discharge and the discharge will be maximum for a particular for that specific force and fr is equal to unity and what is the critical flow for a rectangular channel is condition for the critical flow in a rectangular channel is yc is equal to q squared divided by g the whole power 1 by 3 here it is a small q what is small q is discharge per unit width that is what is a unit for q meter cube per second divided by width is meter so meter cube per second per meter and yc is equal to 2 by 3 e minimum minimum energy or you can represent it as 1.5 yc e minimum is equal to minimum energy is equal to 3 by 2 yc or you can write it as 1.5 yc at critical depth energy will be minimum that's why e minimum okay condition for the critical flow in rectangular channel yc is equal to q square divided by g the whole power 1 by 3 so q is equal to small q is equal to capital q divided by b and the second one is yc is equal to 2 by 3 e minimum in most of the problems they'll ask they will give you energy and they ask you to find what is the critical depth simply use this formula for finding out what is the critical depth clear and what is the condition for the triangular channel is the same the same thing instead of uh, 2 by 3 you have to take it as 4 by 5 simple yc is equal to 4 by 5 e e minimum okay or you can write it as e minimum is equal to 5 by 4 yc so instead uh, in, in uh, instead of 5 by 4 you can write it as 1.25 yc so for rectangular channel for rectangular channel 1.5 yc and for the triangular channel 1.25 yc clear so this is very very important in some time sometimes they will ask you in uh, in two or three marks or in five marks they ask you to write the points what are the characteristics of a critical flow condition so what you have to do is you have to write all the points critical state means fruit number should be equal to one and energy minimum specific force is minimum for the particular discharge discharge will be maximum for the specific energy and specific force that's all okay